Hello, good afternoon or good morning. This is Paul Romero in Los Angeles, and I wanted to say hello, happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday here in LA, but perhaps it's Wednesday uh, where, where you are. And I just wanted to uh, do a couple of things. I wanted to answer a question about the tower, the tower, the tower melody from Heroes 3. And also, I wanted to say thank you very much to the Heroes Orchestra in Poland. They sent me a beautiful, this beautiful uh, new CD. Uh, there you go. Heroes, Heroes times Paul Romero, Heroes Orchestra. And when you open it up, it's cool. It looks like that. There's a picture of me and David playing. David's playing the guitar. And the CD itself, very, very nice. Whoever did the artwork on this did a great job. I'll show you that. There, here's orchestra. And you can see on the, uh, behind the CD is a, oh, it's hard, it's, it's very shiny. There's a picture of Brock playing the saxophone. And then there's this picture. I love the artwork. And then on the back of it is, uh, has the playlist and a picture of me. Anyway, thank you very, very much. It's, I, I, I love it. Also, it sounds fantastic. The audio, the, the live recording, it's a live recording of the Heroes Orchestra in Warsaw and uh, we did a performance last year at the Ludoslavsky Concert Hall that's part of the, uh, I believe it's like the Warsaw uh, Broadcasting broadcasting System. They have these concert halls that are outfitted for live, uh, live performance to be broadcast. So, uh, the music, uh, beautiful. Let's, let me show you just a, a little bit of a track that I, I loved all of the tracks. Uh, particularly Academy, sound, sounds gorgeous. Beautiful, really. You guys did a fabulous job of engineering, and I was very honored to to play play with you. And um, anyway, so if I don't know I, how many of these are available, I know they were um, selling these uh, through the Heroes Orchestra. Uh, you can go to them on Facebook or Instagram. But if you um, if you like the music for Heroes and you like uh, buying CDs uh, and just having like having the, the physical hard copy because of the artwork and everything, uh, you should you should try to get one because it's it's very 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 nice. Thank you guys. So I don't I don't even know if there's any available. So here I am, here I am telling you to go get them, but uh, they, <laughs> they might not even have any. So the other thing is um, I heard like for the first time a few days ago the orchestra in Belarus called it's called the the video game orchestra and uh, they did they did a performance I, I'm not sure when the performance was if it was like last week or when but they included a few pieces of heroes three and that sounds incredible. Like who the conductor? I believe his name is uh, Andre, uh, Andre, and I had I can't I cannot say his last name, but um, I don't I don't speak Belarusian, so I will have to I will have to learn how to pronounce his name and then and then tell it say it in the future. But he the conductor is the arranger, and he did an amazing job with. Uh, the orchestrations and they did a whole light show and I really really enjoyed that so if the conductor is watching this or 
Uh, thank you very much. I, I really I really enjoy hearing other people play my music because it's um, of course as a composer it's a it's a when you when you create music the the best gift that anybody as a composer best gift that they can have is somebody else to listen. Now you know it's like like your cook you really would like for somebody else to eat your food so you can cook more for them so and I, that's how i feel about music and also i love it when people do uh even when when they and it's different when sometimes people do arrangements of my music that um they do their own version of it and then they add they add their own point of view to it and that that's that's incredible that's like i really really love listening to different interpretations and it's not even an interpretation what it is it's um i feel like my you know my little melodies are like my my little children but then somebody else takes my child and puts on a new outfit like uh it, like a new outfit that i wouldn't have even thought about uh, putting my child in so it's like these uh these little musical children of mine go and get dressed up by other people and it's nice because it's even though it, even though it's still your like your 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 baby or your child it's letting them experience different um visions and versions and versions of themselves and that's what life is all about you know hey one day one day i can wear a t-shirt the next day i can wear a tuxedo i'm still the same but it's nice that that my my outfits can can be different it, so if that makes any sense so uh, that's it's it's wonderful to hear different people play uh, these tunes so the question is um, the tower like where what where where what why what and why waltz so uh, when, when I was doing the music uh, for, for heroes 3 and Rob King, uh, the, he's the producer and the audio director, and he uh, just said to do something dark and something dark that that has uh, motion, but it's not, it's not, um, it's not militant. It's not overwhelming. And so, I thought, wow, uh, the Rachmaninoff symphonic dances, the second movement. Uh, to waltz that's a great um i love that piece of music and so that right away was my was my inspiration for that so if you ever have a chance to listen to the rock Modernoff symphonic dances there are three of them uh the second one is a haunting waltz that feels like it takes you it it lifts it has these ribbons of um woodwinds that go around the melody and I tried to do a little bit of that technique with the orchestrations on the tower so um and then you can do um you do like little ribbons of the woodwinds around the, the, the main melody and then Oh, 
for forever. So that was that was the main inspiration, the Rachmaninoff orchestrations. Um, I love waltzes. Of course, I love the Shostakovich waltz number two. Um, uh, shoot, I can't remember how it goes. Oh yeah. Beautiful, and I also love Chopin waltzes. The, he's one of my favorite waltz composers, uh, particularly. That's a, probably is a, is a inspiration for the tower. So uh, the God, what, somebody else had another question, and um, I will try to answer that. Uh, what oh, shoot? What was uh, somebody had a very specific question? But sorry, I don't I don't want to waste your time on that. Uh, waltzes are amazing. They're one, two, three, one. Three, one, two, mm, 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 mm. this perfect like triangle, you know, um, it works so well. Watching So what what else is a good good melody for to turn into a waltz? Maybe um
So that's that's uh, what I would like to share with you. And thank you very much for your questions. And oh, somebody wrote to me uh, if I was going to be in. I'm supposed to be in Russia this week, and of course, um, I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to come into Russia at this point uh, yet. So uh, the concerts. Uh, Neoclassica has worked very hard to reschedule the performances in Russia, so I will be there in March and April next year. So I hopefully can help, like by the, uh, by April, uh, I can experience uh, the beginnings of Russian springtime, which will be very, very exciting for me. So thank you very much for listening, and I appreciate it, and... Have a wonderful week. Go dance, do something fun. You know, move your move your, move your body. Uh, get yourself excited, ready, and healthy for the summertime. Okay, I'll see you guys. Thank you very much.